Hi everyone, and welcome back to another topic video. For this week, uh, we are going to talk about ways to get active and keep active from a behavioral standpoint. Um, this is Nick Bass with the Ball State University Fisher Institute of Health and Well-Being. So first, what are we going to cover in this week's video? The main thing that we're going to cover are common excuses or reasons that you might create to not exercise. And then we're going to discuss how you can keep with exercise once you've created that healthy lifestyle change. So first, a very common uh, reason that you may choose uh, not to exercise is that you reason with yourself that you hate exercise. You have a negative perception of it or you've had a prior experience, say, you go out somewhere and you go to a gym and you see a lot of people that are super in shape and it makes you feel really uncomfortable, really self-conscious about yourself. This isn't what exercise is all about. We don't want you to feel uncomfortable with your body or intimidated by other people. Exercise should be fun. So, what does that mean? You can go and take your dog on a walk and that counts as exercise. You can go and golf. You can do laps around a pool if you have access to a pool. You can go swimming in a lake. Those count as exercise. It doesn't have to be a grueling task where you feel intimidated or be in an environment that feels unnatural to you. Second, you're too busy. You have a busy schedule. You have a busy life. You're always on the go. You have kids to pick up. You have chores to do. You have a job that you have to attend. You have to make dinner. You have to wash dishes. You have to do all of these little things that take up end up taking up a lot of time in your day. You have to sleep. You have all these things that are happening. However, the recommended exercise time in a single day is 30 minutes. That means that you have 23 and a half hours to do anything else but exercise. So, break down your day and look at how long you actually are spending sitting on the couch watching TV or something like that when instead you could spend that 30 minute chunk to go out and exercise and you can spend the other 23 and a half hours of your day doing other things. And finally, exercise is difficult or painful. When you're exercising, pain doesn't mean quality. Hurt it, putting yourself in uncomfortable positions uncomfortable movements is doesn't mean that you're getting quality exercise and difficulty doesn't lead to better exercise either just because you're in a lot of pain and the exercise is hard doesn't mean that you're really doing anything for you and honestly it can deter you from continuing exercise constant movement in itself is exercise whether that means that you're gardening you're cutting the grass, not sit mowing, but actually pushing a mower and cutting the grass. Walking from your car to the um, grocery store, walking around the grocery store. If you do that for 30 minutes, that counts as exercise. As long as you're consistently move, moving, you're getting exercise. So, what are the ways that you can defeat these excuses that you make, these reasons that you come up with? to not exercise. Well, first off, we need to be self-compassionate with ourselves. Oftentimes, where you are too hard on yourself you s and you beat yourself up too much. Self-compassion increases your exercise adherence. And always remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. You're going to have to take this in a day-by-day -day step, a day-by-day -day process, an hour-by-hour. -hour. It's going to take time and once you create that habit, once you create that lifestyle change, it will be easier. But just remember to be self-compassionate and reward yourself when necessary and things like that. Next, we want to, and finally, we want to set realistic goals and expectations for ourselves. So this goes back to some of our other videos where we talk about SMART goals, where we want them to be realistic, that are and SMART. So... With that, our realistic expectations, we don't want them to be too over or under ambitious, meaning 
We don't want to say, I want to exercise for an hour and a half every day. If your schedule is too busy for that, that is a completely unrealistic goal. And if you're going to put that expectation on yourself, you will become frustrated and you will discontinue exercise. And that's not what we want. If you're too busy to get in over an hour of exercise or anything like that, make your goal a little more realistic. 30 minutes of exercise a day. Break it up into 10-minute segments. 10 minutes walking during lunch, 10 minutes when you get up, 10 minutes before you go to bed. So that way you break it up over a period of time and you fit it in where necessary. Just don't overshoot. Make sure that you keep it within your expectations. And then you want to, like I just said, focus on things one day at a time, one week at a time, one month at a time. We really want to just take things slowly, step by step, and eventually your goals and your expectations will come to fruition. So finally, contact us if you have any questions or want any further information about this. So contact us by phone at 765-288-1928, extension 5207, or 765-285-1293. Feel free to email us at hlc765 at gmail.com. Be sure to visit our website for more healthy lifestyle tips and our newsletters at www.hlcmuncie.com. And our hours are Monday through Thursday from 7 to 9 a.m., 11.30 to 1.15, 3.30 to 6 p.m., and Friday from 7 to 9 a.m. and 11.30 in the morning to 1.15 in the afternoon.